Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Task Base channel in Malaysia. Mondo just announced the pre-order details for their exquisite new MacReady figure from The Thing. The orders are live now on their website and will be up until Friday the 10th of November 2023. Now this figure looks absolutely amazing. Definitely the best rendition of actor Kurt Russell as RJ McReady ever captured in plastic. This is the figure that fans of the franchise have been waiting all these decades to own. The Thing is without a doubt one of the all-time greatest sci-fi horror films ever made. I never saw it in the 80s when it first came out. I was a kid back then and I had no access to the movie. And it was only much later in the 1990s that I got hold of a VHS tape of the film. And since then, I've watched it again on every enhanced release they've put out, all the way to its Blu-ray release. Now, we've been getting some really good Thing movie merchandise with the NECA Ultimate McReady figure from a couple of years ago, but this version from Mondo completely blows it away. This one's got what you need right here. McReady standing ever ready with the flamethrower, ready to just flame and burn any alien parasite piece of shit from outer space. Just... He also gets a whole bunch of other accessories here. As you can see, just a freak ton of things for fans to savor. You get two facial expressions. One is the standard head. The other one is the one that's been blasted by snow. The costume that he's wearing is interesting as it allows for multiple display options. You get the leather jacket which can be removed. And underneath, you get a flight suit. And this too can be taken off to have him just a t-shirt. You know, fantastic stuff. You get a whole bunch of hands, some of them with the gloves on. His weapons include the flamethrower and backpack, just a highly detailed looking set. He gets a separate detachable flame accessory. He gets the pistol, the shotgun. I'm just surprised that we didn't get the stick of dynamite from the final battle scene between McReady and the creature. You know, this was something that the NECA set did include. And it was from the critical finale sequence where the thing creature just bursts out of the floorboards. McReady just stares at it and goes, well, fuck you too. He throws the dynamite and kaboom. Now you get all of this stuff as part of the regular release edition which is going for $230 but there's also the exclusive edition which is retailing for $265 and it includes two of the thing creatures. Okay, you get the spider monster and then you get the dog monster, right? Yeah, these two thing creatures are included with this particular set. They're all in scale and they look pretty freaking fantastic, okay? I mean, the Norris spider creature, okay? This thing was also previously done by McFarlane and we've also got like a version of the dog alien. I believe that came with Sota's now playing sets from back in the day, but these are all scaled up to Mondo's 12-inch figure scale, something that fans have never had their hands on before, and the detailing on these alien creatures, my goodness, okay, these things look absolutely horrifying, all right? Some people, I suppose, may want the option of not having them around, okay? So I guess that's why they're part of an exclusive set, and maybe you just want McReady, you just want a cool Kurt Russell figure, but these alien creatures, I gotta tell you honestly, man, they're just pulling out all the stops here with the detailing, and it just makes you wonder, when it comes to this Thing franchise, also, what else? Else could we be getting down the road? The Thing movie features a large cast of characters, but not all of them are suitable to be marketed as premium action figures, unless we're talking about a three and three quarter inch scale range like Super 7's reaction line. But Mondo definitely needs to give us Charles, as played by the legendary Keith David in the movie. Charles was the film's only other survivor besides McReady, and is the perfect action figure pairing for this Thing collection. Fans have discussed for years as to whether the Thing parasite creature was still alive by the movie's cliffhanger ending, surviving in either McReady or Charles. But just to let you guys know, 1991's The Thing from Another World comic book from Dark Horse already answered this question by serving as an official canon sequel to the film. The other character or creature that we could hope to get is the end boss himself, the final appearance of the thing in the film as this mega massive assimilation of human, dogs and all other beings rolled into one horrific stew known as the Blair Monster. McFarlane Toys released the first ever action figure version of the Blair Monster in the year 2000. I still have this thing sealed up but I do plan to open it up for a review soon so look out for that one. 
This thing featured some truly frightful detailing, but was just way, way too short and small compared to the size of the creature that we saw in the film. There's just no way that this thing could be the size of a standard 7-inch figure, but it was what it was for the time. So Mondo could definitely give fans a version that's in scale, but holy shit, if that happens, then it's probably going to be the biggest Mondo release ever. I mean, we're talking about Hasbro Pulse Galactus level, okay? But who knows? Anything could happen, and we've seen toy companies push the envelope many times when it comes to expectations. Guys, let me know what you think of the Mondo McCready release from the Thing movie. Will you be placing an order for it? Hit me up in the comments, and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Thank you.